Hey guys, welcome. Today we have the Poco F4 and the Poco F4 GT. I'm going to do a CPU throttling test. I know what the results are going to be. I've done this uh, at least twice now and the HM1 in the GT absolutely throttles. And I know for a fact the Snapdragon 870 is going to be a nice constant performer throughout this test. Just to make sure, Wi-Fi is both off. Uh, let's make sure all the apps and stuff all done, closed down. Um, CPU throttling test and CPU throttling test. Okay, options. Both 20 threads, both 15 minutes. Uh, do that, so exactly the same save um, and then after I've done this test assuming what I predict is going to happen uh, this is going to absolutely throttle the GT I'll then do another CPU throttling test but the GT will have the benefits of cooling you don't need the GameSir X3 gaming controller the cooling gaming controller I'm going to put that in that and run it against the Snapdragon 870 but the 870 will not have the cooling capabilities and see if the Snapdragon 870 still wins. A uh, bit of a pointless test, but I'm quite interested to see what happens. So, without further ado, in fact, let's do a little test. Heat test. So around this area. Twenty nine point one around the center, twenty nine point two. That one, twenty nine point two. Are you sure? Let's do it again. Well, wow, yeah, operating at exactly the same temperature by the looks of it. Interesting. Twenty nine point two each. Okay. Three, two, one. Start the test. So here we go, five minutes in, you can see the throttling occurring right now and the performance look is dropping below the um, Snapdragon 870 look for a few seconds that was anyway, and there. Nine minutes in, look at the performance, how much the HM1 has dropped, 174,000 gips, 153,000, where the Snapdragon 870s are keeping a constant throughout. Okay, as expected, and you can see the performance as well, look. The HM1 has dropped dramatically, and the eight, Snapdragon 870 has been performing above that for the last maybe five minutes. Wait till it fully finishes, and then I can do a temperature test. Okay. So we're getting, oh, what we're on there, 42.9. 42.7 there and okay so it's cool over this side than that side that's, that's interesting so the f4 standard is hotter than the gt hmm but still throttling on the uh, gt as you can see Let's bring these closer now for an inspection and let's compare the, the average. I mean, if you do take the average performance, 223,000 gips, then the GT does win. 
but the GT also hit a minimum of 176,000, whereas the Snapdragon 870 only dropped to 196. And obviously the maximum the GT did hit, but a lot of the time throughout that test, as you saw, the Snapdragon 870 was, was outperforming the 8 Gen 1. Uh, but yeah, this crazy, isn't it? absolutely crazy how much throttling has happened on the 8 Gen 1. Disappointing as well. I believe there's both liquid cooling in here, I believe, as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do now is let this calm down. And I'm going to chuck this in the gaming controller, which cools it down. And we should see it beat the Snapdragon 870, I think. We'll see. Okay, so we've all had time to cool down and we're getting what we got there. 30. There. And it looks like 30 as well on that. I've had this controller cooling down for a while or getting cold. Yeah, that is feeling very cold. Let's have a look what temperatures we're getting here. Okay, nice and cold. Wow. Now we should see a big difference here. Right, so we've got it all set up. Um, this has been cooling now, so this should be displaying a lot cooler. Twenty-seven point nine. This twenty-nine. Yeah. Right, we're going to do another fifteen-minute test. Uh, we need to, yeah, I suppose just click start test again. We should see a big difference now. Should do. There we go. So the Snapdragon 870 had a wobble. See that? But at the end here, it's coming good. And the overall performance is actually beating the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Wow, even under cooling conditions, but we'll see overall in a moment. Okay, so we're just under 30 seconds left, and you can see what well, it just was, but well, it's beating it now. Look, performance is, is lower on this, but well, it fluctuates up and down. I'm very surprised. Right, we're done. Let's do a heat test. Obviously, this has been cooling down, uh, but we have 39, 39.6 on here, 43. 43.2 so a few Celsius between them uh, let's look at the, the scores shall we so average 248,000 on the GT and 230,000 on the, the normal F4 Snapdragon 870 minimum 192 on the Snapdragon 870 it did have a wobble halfway through the um, through the test but come good at the end so I think overall the GT does come out slightly better in overall performance but with the cooling technology I thought it would have been a lot better than that. The fact that the Snapdragon 870 had a little bit of a wobble earlier probably um, ruined the score for the Poco F4. So what did this tell us that we didn't already know anyway? <laughs> the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is a super super hot chip. Let's take this out. A really really hot chip very difficult to keep cool and very difficult to stop throttling so you, some gamers might even experience this throttling when gaming as well I think there has been reports of heavy throttling when gaming so you're getting drops 
uh, frame rate drops as well. Uh, the 870 does seem to be the more stable overall, which we knew already. Oh, we knew already anyway, so I just wanted to see if this performed much better while being cooled. So if you want to game with the 8 Gen 1, keep it cool with this, and your throttling should be reduced heavily. That's one way of getting around it. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. That would be fantastic, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.